under your breath. You need, you need to learn different modes of prayer. There are people that can pray with beside you for four hours. You won't know they are praying. I can do it. As much as I can groan, I can also do it. I can do all kinds of prayer. The only way you will know is that I will say, help me Jesus. That's the only way you will know. Then you will be muttering on that. And I heard that there is face marks these days. Use it as an excuse. You are not with me. Use, that thing is a blessing. It will cover your mouth. They will know business is going on. <laughs> so, um, you learn how to practice God's presence. If His way is allowable, play some of our messages. What it does to you is that it cultures your environment. So that even if you did not outrightly pray, by the time you are coming back in the evening, see, you are not, the stress of the day zaps you of virtue. But when you condition your environment, you, virtue will not be lost much. So when you come back, even though you are tired, but your spirit is in a prayer mode, it will be easy for you to flow. Are you with me now? And so, somebody that is saying you want to go out perpetually, that one is not obtainable in this world. As a matter of fact, what we teach is contact without contamination. Jesus lived with people day to day. And if the demand is high, sometimes you have to pay more price. Though. That in some seasons in your life, you have to just be sleeping for four hours or five. Stop sleeping eight hours. Are you suffering from death attack? The spirit of the... If you sleep, can you be sleeping more than eight hours? Is the spirit of death looking for you? One day you sleep and die. <laughs> Meanwhile, is what I'm trying to say is that sometimes pressure is put on you to deliver in a season, such that you need to cut down. You need to pay the price. For the majority of the time I did my youth service, I barely slept for three hours. Three hours. If I sleep for. <laughs> that means nobody disturbed me during the day. That means as soon as we finished night devotion, I off my phone, slept. They will still be knocking in at the door. You know, how many of you have NCCF setting? There is where the brothers, executive brothers room is called the Saka room. Then there is a ladies room that is close to us. They will come and knock. I want to see, pray you. Because as prayer, what they call us those days is the spiritual leader. So, it means that we should have what it takes to solve people's problem. I tried my best anyway. So, but you will die. If all your emphasis is to solve people's problem. They, what you don't know is that what it takes to solve problem is inside. If you have not gotten it and you come and you can't offer, no matter what the person tell you, you can't offer him any help. So, for you to be able to offer help, you need to retreat. Sometimes. So, if I sleep by that 10, 11, then I can wake up by 2. Then I will pray to devotion around 5. Then after devotion around 6, they, my fellow brothers will be rushing bedroom. I will sleep. The reason why you are struggling to sleep, have you not noticed, if you want to sleep, you use one hour to boot before you sleep, is because you have free time. When you have accumulated sleep, you are not with me. How many of you know that realm? There is what we call accumulated sleep. Any 30 minutes. The reason why you are struggling you, in the night, you say you don't sleep on time, you sleep around 11. Meanwhile, you ate around 8.30 and slept 11. Unless it's your choice. Make sure it doesn't affect your waking up. Are you with me? That's by the way. So, you can practice God's presence and you can sacrifice a little more. Totally taking away yourself from people is what caused trouble in the former Roman Catholic Church. That's how monks came about. You won't even know whether God is helping yourself if you stay alone like that. I'm not talking about retreat. There is a way you will get into and then you will think that God has helped you only for you to realize that when you come out from that place that with everything that happened as you are carrying that thing from that your prayer thing somebody will do something and then you get angry that's how you will know that 
Oh boy, these three days fasting did not achieve much. Has it not happened to you? Uh-huh. So, sometimes it's, it's even important to come out to check and measure progress that has been made. Are you with me? After some time, it's even brethren that will testify that there is a shift. Don't go and hide. A pastor said he want to go and fast and fast until his life is rearranged and the anointing, everything he needs for life and ministry comes. So he went to his friend. You have heard the story. So I shouldn't tell it. Should I still tell the story? <laughs> so he, he went to meet his friend that is married. So he was there fasting. First day, second day, third day. The wife is at home. The man will go to work. Before you know it, he fasted into the man's room. And then fasted to his bed. You are not with me. Caleb, you are not with me.